trying to remember now, we was at my old house. Um, we was having prayer meeting, that's what it was. We was having prayer meeting, me and my brothers, my family, and my sisters. Um, and I was just praying, and I was just kneeling on the floor praying, doing my normal, and then all of a sudden, something just changed. I don't know what it was, but I just found myself in a different place, and that was the day. So they invited me to this building, and I went. I didn't really know what was going on. They asked us to stand in a circle, um, I, so I did it anyway. They said, if you don't have it, come into the middle of the circle. I went into the middle um, and I just remember seeing the light at the end of this tunnel and after about five, ten minutes, after trying to get this light at the end of the tunnel, I managed to get it. I got to the point where enough was enough. I got desperate. I was sick of my past, I was sick of my shame, I was sick of my guilt and it was right there the whole time. I was at, uh, in the building and I was just dancing and having a good time. I was moving about. I felt really good. And then something just tickled my body. And then all of a sudden, I was just taken and I had to accept that good feeling that I felt. And then that's when I received it. Um, I remember I walked in and I was in a place where I didn't really understand actually what was going on or people were singing, people were clapping. I was thinking, I've never been in this kind of environment before. Um, the moment I stepped through the doors, I literally broke down um, and I was so mad at myself because I was like, why am I crying? I don't understand why I'm crying. Um, and then I stayed there, um, still crying literally through the whole time. Um, I went back a second time and the exact same thing happened again. The moment I walked through the doors, I completely broke down and I couldn't understand the feeling that I felt inside. I didn't, I've, I'd never felt like this before. Um, and I, again, throughout the whole, um, whole time I was there, every word that was spoken to me, it was speaking directly to my heart and to my situation. Um, and then the third time I came back and I walked through the doors um, and I was a little bit stronger. Um, tears were still running down my face. Um, and the word said, this is for you. And that was when it all happened, everything changed for me. So how it happened for me is that I remember we was travelling in the van. We was on our way to Coventry actually to a conference and um, there was about 10 of us in one van and um, I was at 16 at the time, had been in church all my life and actually had been trying to get this thing all my life but it was this particular encounter that we had where I, I remembered where the windows misted over and that thing just came in and I just took it. I knew that this was the time and from there my life didn't change. Christmas is a season for giving and receiving. And as you've heard through all the stories today that people have given and received, but what they received wasn't a tangible thing, but was more important. This Christmas. This Christmas. This Christmas. This Christmas. This Christmas. This Christmas. So in this Christmas season, give your heart to the Lord and receive the gift of salvation and you will have eternal life. Merry Christmas. You rule the world.